is uh, the next review I have for you guys for the Batman Arkham City Series 2 figures. And um, this figure, this time it's for the, the Mad Hatter. I have this review for you guys. So, this figure I actually got at the same time that I got the Riddler, but I just hadn't, didn't have the time to make a review. I actually could have gotten one for you guys sooner, but I just didn't have time. But here it is now. As you can see, the box is open again because the same with the Riddler. Um, like I said in the, in the last review, I just couldn't wait to open open it right when I got it from my comic book shop. So it's already open. This is the box. Put that aside. Here, as most of you guys are aware of who've bought these figures before, this is kind of like a little pamphlet or booklet or like a little magazine of some sort that you open up like this. And when I actually, actually when I opened it, I was actually um, surprised to see um, the Series 1 action figures from Batman Arkham Asylum because um, I, I, I actually thought that it was going to have um, an ad for the Series 3 Arkham City figures as well as the deluxe figures which are coming out later on this year. So yeah, I was kind of surprised to see these, see these here. Alright, with that being said, let's put this aside and let's start this review. So, got a little lighting for you guys. This is the the Mad Hatter figure. As you can see, he has um lots of points of articulation as well, all around himself. So, on this figure, and actually um have it as in the in the. In the box it says Jervis Tetch as a Mad Hatter. I think the reason why they did that was so that it won't confuse people with the actual Mad Hatter from Alice in Wonderland. So, yeah. They have lots of lots of good articulation here, guys. And detail. I think DC Direct is definitely um, doing a great job with these figures. And one thing I actually like a lot is that, you know, right here, you can actually feel a little, um, a little staples or stitches that he has yeah the stitches he has all over his suit it's pretty nice as well as the belt you can feel basically everything make it very realistic so right here he has a bow tie and he's wearing green as well as well so right, to begin with he moves his hand upwards like this and his joints in his hand sideways like that his head you can move it up and down a little bit to the side a little bit to the left like that all right same with this hand this hand actually um kind of found it a little bit hard for me to um, to move so i actually don't think i'm going to be able to move it for you guys but i'm going to move this joint right here the feet um they're the legs i mean they're not movable they're in the same position but it's because it has a stand which i'm going to show you guys with Right now, his feet you can move them sideways like this. Yeah. It's pretty much move it all around for you guys to see. And like I said, he, he comes with the base. Here's the base. It's uh, similar to the ones that always they always come with. So, put the base right here on his foot. Try to get around there for you guys. Right there. Uh, and he also came with his hat. Of course, Mad Hatter needs his hat. He's a Mad Hatter. <laughs> also, it's very detailed. As you can see. Made it look a little bit, no, a little bit dirty in the game. Put it on like this. This figure is actually like, a, I'd say maybe a four to five inches tall with this hat on, something like that. I'm not really good on measuring, but basing on what I'm looking at, it's not, a, it's not a big figure, but I think it's worth checking out for all you Batman fans out there. Especially for those that are big fans of the Arkham Zellum and Arkham City games. So yeah, that's about it for this review.
And, um, yeah, at the same time, I actually want to show you something else I bought from the comic book shop. It was actually a, another comic book. I don't know if you guys know about it yet, but it was actually a digital comic before, but just released. They, they already released the Batman Arkham Unhinged, so I just picked it up as well. It's a pretty cool comic book. I think uh, I thought you guys might want to check out. So yeah, that being said, it's time it's time for us to put the the Mad Hatter where he belongs. The rest of the figures I have from the Arkham C. And I don't know if you guys knew, but th these this one this review and the one before this are actually my first two reviews of any figures, which I, you guys are probably gonna find amazing that I didn't. Or interesting that I hadn't made a review before of action figures because I have a big collection of comic books as well as action figures as you guys can see right now when I put this up where it belongs goes right here these are actually all the ones that I have thus far but I'm planning to get more of them as you can see there's a Zaz, Scarecrow, Harley Quinn from Markham City a Mad Hatter of course here's a, the Scarface puppet Bane, Robin, I don't know if you guys can see on the lighter for you guys. Um, Joker and the Riddler, which I showed, showed you guys in the last review. So, yeah, that's about it. But I'm gonna keep up uploading more with the new figures from this line, as well as the deluxe figures and series 3 when they come out later on this year. Alright, well, thank you.